following the directive of the Anambra State Government, which bans the excavation of sand in communities across the state to avert gully erosion, which is currently claiming many acres of state land. The directive which the Nanka traditional institution and that of Nanka Town Union are committed to implementing some individuals who are bent to on violating the order and thereby using some disgruntled elements in Amako, one of the villages in Nanka, to achieve their aim by going around to accuse the traditional ruler of the town. Igwe Godwin is the law and president general of the community, Reverend Canon John is the care of sand mining in the area. Correspondent Emmanuel Okonkwo tells us more. When APS crew and other journalists visited the area to ascertain the true position of things, it was observed that the village, which had a common boundary with Oko, has no sand beach. In addition, that the road linking the area they are accusing the traditional ruler and president general of sand mining is not motorable. Speaking to the newsmen at the scene, the president general of Nanka community, Reverend Canon John A.Z.K. described the allegations as the handiwork of those who are working towards bringing the Nanka traditional institution and town union leadership to Redeco and advised the public to disregard such claims. He expressed satisfaction with the order of the Anambra State Government, which bans sand mining in the which is said that the leadership of Nanka traditional institution and town union must implement to the letter, as according to him, the community is prone to erosion. It is so unfortunate that somebody will wake up from his house and start making false allegations. They now want to create a scenario that Nanka is ungovernable, on a state of unrest. Mm. But 98% of people of Nanka are together, are united. That is the situation in Nanka. So whatever point they want to score politically, it is so sad. In an interview, the Chairman Erosion Control Committee of Nanka Community, who is also the President of Anambra and Imo State Drivers Association, Chief Emmanuel Ejo Kafo, while saying that the allegation the against the PG and traditional rule of Nanka well, is nothing but a lie, explained that sand mining activity has, has long ago been stopped in all parts of the Nanka community. On their part, Nanka woman leader Mrs. Chinyere Okafo and Amako village Nanka woman leader Mrs. Gloria Usofo condemned the action of the rumor mongers, wondering why some people will fabricate such a story to then the image of the traditional ruler of the town and present general to cause unnecessary problem in the community just for selfish gain, advising peddlers of the allegation to have a rethink. I don't know what he had never went down, but why he never went down. I don't know what he had never went down. I don't know what he had never went down. I don't know what he had never went down. Speaking, the former chairman, Amako Njikoka Development Union, Nanka, and a member of Igwe's cabinet, Chief Emmanuel Obie Kunye, attributed the allegation to the handiwork of some members of Amako village who are working against the traditional stool and leadership of the Nanka community for reasons best known to them. Appealing to the State Commissioner of Chieftaincy and Community Affairs to do the needful to ensure that Amako village has leadership. As according to him, the major cause of the problem in the village is lack of leadership. You see, so in our battle now, if you are buying in China, you pack the motor very far. No, but I just bought a bar. Do you turn the motor? I'm ambiguous. So in our new phone, no, we are safe. We are safe.